Welcome to a brand new video. As you know, we are doing a 23 part collection. This is 23 LeBron James videos in 23 weeks. And today we dive into the 2016 Cleveland Cavaliers team from head coach to the 15th man. Each member of the 2016 Cleveland Cavaliers shares their thoughts on the true LeBron James. And some of these stories are just insane. And I really hope you guys enjoy the video. As always, if you appreciate the editing that gets involved into these videos, I'd really appreciate if you guys could hit that like button. Let's aim for a thousand likes for the next episode. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new. And there's a playlist link on the top right of your screen and also link down below in the description if you have missed any of the other episodes in this series. And of course, as always, full credit goes to all the links, podcasts, interviews, and clips. And they are on the screen right now. They are also linked down below in the description as well. So be sure to check them out in their entireties. And I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so without further ado, welcome to the 2016 Cleveland Cavaliers and their thoughts on LeBron James. I, I got to ask about playing with LeBron mm. and watching him play as a teammate. Yeah. He's a different animal. Oh, he's a different I beast. mean, playing with LeBron, and this is the greatest thing I've ever said for me. I played to get minutes, I played to get points, right? I played to win games. He is always playing basketball to win championships or be the greatest. There's a huge gap in that. There is no one else in our generation that is playing basketball to be the greatest player ever still with his resume. So when they say, oh, this year's not a failure, I bet you if LeBron doesn't go to a championship, people go, well, it's another year LeBron didn't do what Jordan did. It is a different level of measurement that no one else is held to. I would say going into a situation like that, you got to take away, like, for Bron, his IQ. Like, you got to, his attention to detail, his, him knowing, he know every person he's on the guard. He knows what they do. He knows the scout report. Bron can run a scout on a team by itself. He don't need no coach in there. So I would say, if I'm going to take something away from him, I can't be 6'9". I can't be 2'40". Two, two it just ain't going to happen. 2 or however much Bron way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I can't I can't can't be that. So it's just like I would take away other things from him before I would try to dive into his physical attributes and all the other stuff like that. Yeah, I mean Braun yeah. would say that he would say crazy shit like, Y'all, this is the same play that they run for so and so from the Hawks. He'd be like, Bro, we played the Hawks three months ago. Like, what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> like you the only person that know who they run the play for and it's the same play for the Hawks. Like like that's just his his, his genius. Never cutting corners. Like he knew what he had to do to be ready to play at a high level and he never shot away from that. Like not even so much on the basketball court playing in the games. It's like the preparation. Like I, that's that's something I took took from him was the preparation, like taking care of your body, you know, massage, hot tub, cold tub. You know, lifting a lot. Like a lot of guys don't like to lift, but you realize, like, if you lift, that builds that armor and that protects you from these long games. Like you play so many games and you're battling, especially in the post, mm -hmm. you gotta have that body to be able to withstand that kind of, you know, those loads yeah. every night. So like for me, it's like just seeing all that. I think it's just a combination of everything. Like how he just approached the game and how how serious he took his body to make sure he has a high level. Right? That's what I took. I just put my guard down and said, Bron, you you the best. You got it. You got it. Greatest ever, you got it. Jordan or LeBron? Who's Jordan. the GOAT? Jordan? Yeah. Okay. Uh, like I said, man, bro, you my dog. You know this, though. Me and Bron been in arguments about this, though. He's going to be my favorite competitor ever. There will never so, be a competitor. We're talking about Jordan. Yeah. But we're talking about a face for basketball. Mm -hmm. LeBron James, you have done a phenomenal job. If they ever ask, yeah, for real. And that's bro, you know what I'm saying? But I'm yeah. talking about him as LeBron. Like, I'm okay. taking my broness out of it. Like, his mindset of how X's and O's work is it, special. And when you're like playing with him, it's cool because most people with LeBron's skill set and his mind, either they can't communicate it to you or they ain't fent to because they don't want you to be nothing like them. They're like, this is why I'm me and you stay over there and be you. All this stuff he's doing, it's like, I can't down you just because your, your like stats don't line up completely the same with Mike and all this other stuff. Yeah. But like once he is, he was the leader of all the points, I just really start like looking at his career and what he's done and how old he is and 
Like we trying to figure out, is he waiting to play with his son? I'm like, that's a crazy that thing to talk about. Yeah. But that's like, do you that's, hear what we yeah. just said? How would they even say that? How like, that's he, crazy. Yeah, that's nuts. I'll never forget the first training camp when LeBron came in and uh, he brought everyone into the film room before training camp started. And he had his phone there and he's he standing up the front and he went through every player on the team like what he expects from them, what their strengths are. And wow. he's kind of going around the, the different players and I'm sitting there, I'm like, man, uh, is he going to say something about me? I wonder if he even, you know, knows what I can do or, you know, what, what my game is. And um, yeah, he, he eventually got to me and was like three to one assist to turnover ratio, uh, picks up full court every time, plays super hard. And I was like, wow, like that, that makes you feel invincible. And yep. um, that, I mean, that was just the beginning. That's my man, like his work ethic, his drive is ridiculous. Changed my life, I think. It doesn't matter if you're the 15th man on the team or the second man on the team. He helped me, on, like, bro, it's a reason why you're here. It's a reason, this is why we're here. So we, when we get to those moments, we'll miss those shots. We do, you know what I mean? And he, and he pounded that shit into my head so much that every day we was, I was at the gym like three, four times a day. He'll go work out with you. He's gonna get shots up with you. He's gonna talk to you, communicate with you, like what's going on, what, 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 what do you see? Kyrie can go for 30, 40, whenever he wants. Bron can do pretty much whatever he wants. Kevin's coming off of 2020s. All I gotta do is play defense and spot up. Easy. Somebody who's seen everything and he's got an answer for everything on the court and you can, and it's not like he's just, you know, trying to be a, a jerk or anything, but it's right 99.9% of the time. And it's, you just look at it like, I didn't even see that. Like, how did you even come up with that? And it's just, you know, some people are more gifted than the other. Gents is so nice. The greatest play that I ever saw, I, I, it, you said it doesn't have to be, my, it's the block. So the whole game, the lead, neither team led more than five points the whole game, right? So it's nip and tuck the whole game. It can go either way. That's game seven. He's played every minute. It's the last possible game. It's the last possible minute. And you just kind of sitting up there and that block coming in the pitch. So that block was down the stretch. And that block was so huge. It was so huge. And he does an athletic feat of sprinting back. Split second late, that's a goaltender. I'm not on the court and I'm sitting down. I see the two on one. I, I'm a, you know, I've been a two on two on one guy my entire career. So I'm thinking it's either mm -hmm. gonna be a foul or a bucket. That's the only thing that's gonna happen, mm -hmm. right? I'm hoping that if it's if it's a foul, it's Andre, who's not a great free throw shooter, but you're seeing it in real time. And then all of a sudden you just see a blur go across the screen. And that's what it was. It was just a blur past me. And it's like this dude, you know, led the series in points, rebounds, blocks, assists, steal, in every category. And it was like, even Andre, I work out with Andre during the summer, and Andre was like, dude, there was nowhere for me to go. If I would have tried to reverse it, he had both arms on both sides. He was going to block yeah, either side yeah. of it, right? Yeah. And so you just look at that moment like, oh, okay. I can't think of a bigger defensive play, you know. I think what makes LeBron successful is his brain. In some, some ways he's chasing ghosts, in some ways he's creating barriers that he wants to not only break through, but explode through. So his, his always says strive for greatness. I mean, I've seen it firsthand, uh, you know, in, in the way he takes care of his body, um, you know, what he does when he's in practice, the tone he sets, uh, always trying to get better. I mean, he never stops. I mean, you saw it this year where it could have been easy to, to lay down and you're in the bubble and there's no fans and he was, able to dig deep and somehow get the best out of himself and his teammates. So that's just a true, not only testament to his, his greatness on the floor, but a testament to his character. And I'll always, always, always have his back. LeBron James, mm -hmm. if y'all stay together, how many rings you think y'all have won? Y'all so dangerous together. Yeah. I'll probably be in LA right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was a time in my career that I look back on and and we've had conversations, me and Bron, plenty of conversations. So y'all cool. That's my dog. Yeah. That's shout out Bron. Yeah. Shout out to Bron. Bron, because nice. when when you're in that position as one of the leaders 
uh, of our culture and, and yeah. not just sport, but in general. Like he does things that go way beyond just the court. Right. And Great he role makes model. impact yes, all, he is. all around different communities. And um, people agree with his stance and some people disagree. Right. I definitely feel like me learning from him helped I accelerate my understanding of the game that we're in, the business that we're in, because I was watching him deal with it in, in front of the camera, off the camera, being LeBron James. That comes with its own responsibility. So not only was it teaching me off the court, but on the court, this man is a savant. He's a, he's a genius in terms of how he prepares, how he takes, takes care of his body, how he treats his body, what he does every single day to be able to be at the top. Mm. You know what I mean? To stay at the top. And people want to see that man fail every minute of the Hate day. Him. And so to come back, like I said, winning two in Miami and then coming to Cleveland and taking a young team like Kyrie never been to the playoffs. Kevin yeah. Love never been to the playoffs. He told him, he said, I'm, we're going we're to get one before mm -hmm. I'm done. And taking that young team and, and, and getting the championship and where you from, like, that was huge. And it meant a lot to him. You know, LeBron, you know, great as he was, like looked to me for guidance. And so um, that means a lot, especially you know, me and Bron being close in age, me and Richard Jefferson being close in age, and yeah. they still look to me, you know, when it's time to make those, you know, big decisions. You know, for me, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm true to the game, and, and I know what I bring to the table. And uh, I came back for a reason. I came back to, to, to bring a championship to our city. Um, I knew what I was capable of doing. I knew what I learned in the last couple of years that I was gone. And uh, when I came back, I knew I had the right ingredients and the right blueprint to help this franchise get back to it, uh, to a place that we've never been. And um, that's what it was all about, David. I mean, um, you know, right now it's just excitement. You know, it's not even relief. It's just excitement for us as a team, as a franchise, as a city, as a community. Um, you know, to be able to continue to build up our city, um, continue to be an uh, inspiration to our city, it, it means everything. And, you know, throughout my 13-year career, I've done nothing but be true to the game, uh, give everything I got to the game, uh, put my heart, my, my blood, sweat, tears to the game, and people still want to doubt what I'm capable of doing. So um, that was a, a little icing on the cake, you know, for myself to, to you know, just let me know that everything I've done, um, you know, it results in this. And they say hard work pays off, and that was, that's what happened tonight. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Here are two new videos I think that you will also enjoy. And if you did enjoy this one, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.